Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. The Poor Investor. Make sure to hit that like button because it keeps me going and it keeps me putting out these videos just for you guys. So today, I want to talk about this rabbit hole that I went down looking for more Raptorium stuff so I can bring you guys some interesting news. So stay with me on this one, guys. All right, first things first, I want to show you guys that I found a utility for Raptorium. Now, it was announced about a month ago and i have not seen anything come up from that since but this was a rabbit hole that i went down and it was actually on the raptorium website now when i say raptorium does it sound like waptorium because i have my braces or it's just how i enunciate waptorium raptorium okay so i don't i don't know where that came from actually i just heard myself talk and i was like waptorium all right, sound like uh, Bugs Bunny or something. But anyway, what I wanted to show you guys was this rabbit hole that I went down. Now, oh, what a coincidence, right? Rabbit hole, wabbit hole. And <laughs> I'm still going at it. But let me bring you over to the screen right now. So this is the official Raptorium's YouTube channel. Now, you can see he doesn't have a lot of subscribers. But do I actually know if this is officially the dev, Charlie himself? But he has a handful of videos that he just goes right into Raptorium. I believe he is truly the guy that he say he is uh, as being one of the developers for Raptorium, which is pretty interesting. I mean, he only has no more than 10 videos. Uh, a few in the beginning ones, like you can see here, the Raptorium smart node guide and a couple other things. It actually dives deep into Raptorium. And then his more recent videos within the last month or two, as he's talking about the growth of Raptorium exploding right now, or at least that was like about a month or two ago. At the same time, he's just shooting off his rifle. Well, at certain parts, he's talking about Raptorium towards the beginning. And then towards the end of the video, he's talking about how his rifle shoots, which is pretty, uh, I, I guess, to each their own. And so what I wanted to talk about was this really interesting thing as I'm, I'm drilling down this little website of this Raptorium blog, and they're talking about case uses for Raptorium. Now, this case use, now, if you haven't dived this deep into Raptorium, besides the fact that you going on YouTube and finding out who's doing Raptorium and how to do Raptorium, whether you should do it on CPU miner or XM rig or and which pool to join, there are other factors into Raptorium that you may overlooked or just haven't considered looking into because it wasn't relevant at the time. But we're trying to find utility for Raptorium and seeing if it will survive this bear market. Now, the other thing is there are a few comments that I received from my last video, is Raptorium still worth it? Is that Raptorium has already lost its momentum, there's no utility, uh, it's a scam coin. Uh, I mean, it can be at the same time. I'm not sure yet. I, I still, my mind hasn't been set on that yet. Definitely can't compare it to any other thing. I just want to focus on the Raptorium. I'm not going to say it's equivalent to this coin or that crypto or similar to, to this dev team or whatever it is, right? But anyway, what I wanted to talk about was this bit knives in games. So from my understanding, if I'm reading this correctly, it's basically you could trade in your raptoriums to get this real knife okay it's a blade right so once you get this blade you will and and this is it's forged blades if you don't know what that is I, and then and it has the i mean it looks pretty cool and i'll show you a quick video of, of all that i'm going to put all this together so you can understand so this bit knife you can earn with raptorium 491,750 raptoriums to get this particular knife if we were to convert rtm 491,750 it's pretty pricey for this knife now I don't it's currently out of stock but the knife is now worth about five thousand and forty two dollars which is stated right here now it's forging these knives for Raptorium and it's making its own use case to purchase this knife and I want to explain that a little more there's only but a handful of these forged knives handcrafted right specifically for raptorium and they're saying they want to bring those knives into a game now i guess you would mint the the knife into a game and you would own that knife because you own the nft to it meaning 
you would own the NFT plus the physical knife itself, which is a interesting concept, but I'm not sure who would have or it will definitely use so much RTM to acquire this knife. And let's just say if I was under the age of 18, or even if I was over the age of 18, but let's just take, for example, anyone playing games at a certain age would be under the age of 18, mining Raptorium with a rig that their parents bought them, or they're just a well-off YouTuber, influencer, making millions of dollars, and they acquire this knife. Isn't that illegal, to be honest? So I think there's a couple of things that, that needs to be factored into being the policy of laws and rules and regulations applying concepts that sound cool but may not be practical all right so let's see how many bit knives exist right now um bit knife number one is a dama cost i'm not even sure how you say that a meat cleaver um well oh, no San my cleaver code name block reaver okay and of course, they're showing you other Forge knives that they're building for. Here is Raptoshi. This particular knife is called Raptoshi. So it's smaller in size. I'm, I'm assuming it'll be a lot cheaper in Raptorium. I want to put this into perspective of when this video was created and how I found the Raptorium website that kind of led down to this hole. Uh, I've actually found the Raptorium, Raptorium website early on when I started, when I decided to start Raptorium, but I didn't pay much attention to it because he didn't have a lot of content. I did watch the videos that he had, which was like a, no more than 10 of them. Uh, actually, I'm going to mute the sounds, but I'm going to let the video play because I thought it was, I mean, it, it's like a marketing thing, right? So they're trying to show this whole b-roll how to make this forged knife and trying to promote the whole raptorium thing now this video was posted back in october 18 which wasn't too long ago three months back october november december two ish not even and then i saw a comment to going to be epic bill cannot wait for the next video love the ending so this is from Raptorium himself which is charlie it was the response from charlie which is from raptorium so they, they they have a presence on YouTube, just not a big presence. And I don't think a lot of people are actually looking for a Raptorium, uh, the creator or the dev himself. It would be great for him to insight knowledge of what his plans are for the community of Raptorium. But you can also get that same information on the Discord because Discord has the entire group. Now, I, I was visiting the, the Discord for, for a little bit I'm trying to bring all oh, this Discord screen won't this Discord screen won't go into my next screen. But anyway, the Discord was just a very open discussion, nothing really relevant to anything in particular. And I'm just looking at it and reading it. And this is a lot of people talking shit, to be honest. So I, I may not even like focus too much on the Discord to get any information of value. Now, that's the unfortunate side to the discord because you get some people who just talk nonsense to be honest uh, on every channel it doesn't matter not just raptorium but just even my own channel i have i have people there that just talk really negative about everything and there's other people who ask why are you here then that's always case youtube is the same thing reddit's the same thing let's get back to this so i just wanted to point this out to you guys there was a use case right and they they were attempting it seems like it's kind of falling off the track because you don't hear anything about it anymore it has been a few months and nothing has come of it because to be really honest they probably they were anticipating people getting mining more raptoriums easily and that it didn't hit this growth of where the hash rate is low and your your rewards are a lot lower and like or 30 different pools that are like not getting anything besides a flock pool and then once you get off a of flock pool you're basically getting close to nothing unless you're hitting blocks on the bigger pools. Uh, I'm going to take that back. Not just block pool, but maybe the top five pools. But anything below that, you're not going to get much. I'm experiencing that right now with Raptorium and Porium because the last time we hit a block was 30 hours ago. So in 24 hours, I haven't gotten anything. And because my last block that I hit didn't reach the 50 payout mark, I still have Raptorium sitting there pending until we hit the next block. So I don't know how long much longer 30 hours becomes 48 hours or 72 hours i have no clue but that's the unfortunate thing for joining a smaller pool that's 
your rewards will be higher, but your consistent payout will be close to none, non-relevant, right? This is what I wanted to show you guys and interesting to learn that you can buy something with Raptorium. This would be a really first use case. Now that is not in stock. Let's see if the other items are in stock. These are a lot less Raptoriums to, to offer, to exchange. Uh, seems like everything is out of stock. Maybe people actually did swap up these, uh, take up these offers on these unique. I'm, I'm assuming they're not mass produced, right? Like they didn't make 10 of these or 20 of these. They just made one and they put up, you know, for sale on the Raptorium or exchange for Raptorium. So it doesn't seem like there's anything available right now. Let's see this uh, key ring bottle opener. Is this the same one that we just looked at? Uh, out of stock. So I think there's no, there's like what, three items that that are here so i guess that would be a use case they're working with a forger that's making stuff to trade in raptorium and then you take the individual items that you're trading for the knife in particular like they're saying that it is and then you convert it over it's a, a nft that you can bring over to a game and use it and prove that you own it i guess i i haven't i've never gotten into all that whole gaming stuff but although i do have a few other projects coming up that i'm really interested in have a deeper look into that because i i find it intriguing now i'm falling into this whole getting into the gaming and the nft stuff with crypto which is, I think we can't avoid it now. This new generation is just, uh, you know, I have my my youngest, well, my, my not my youngest, but my oldest son, he's getting into all this. He's understanding, he's hearing it, crypto, NFT, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's, it's that new generation. He will be overtaking me eventually, uh, or my age group, and they know what they know now open market for a lot of things right now and everyone's just testing the waters with these nfts and and crypto and that's why you see thousands to millions of them going to be coming and going coming and going and some of them will survive and some of them won't so we'll see how all that plays out i want to thank you guys for being here always always hit that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again soon bye